log into your microsoft fabric account then click on below left hand corner then select data engineering then click on workspaces then select your workspace inside this workspace i have already created my lake house so first create the lake house now we will create a notebook to learn the difference between the external table and manage table so for that click on new then click on notebook and then we need to add our lake house select your existing lake house then click on add and select your lake house then click on add once your lake house is attached to the notebook you can load the files in your folder okay using upload i already have uploaded these two csv files so what i'll do i'll read one of the csv file using pyspark and then we will learn how we can create a external table at manage table so let's read the csv file to read it click on these three dots then load to spark and then run it we got the output so we have account id district id frequency pass date year then month and day column so using this data frame df we will create the manage table in our lake house so to create a manage table uh, we need to write df and you can select as many columns you want from the uh, data frame so i'll select only two columns which is account id and district id then if we have any duplicate uh, for account id and district id we can drop it using distinct function then we will write it to the delta table so for that dot write then you can select the mode i'll select override then format which will be delta <coughs> then save as table and here we need to provide the table name so i'll provide as count one and let's run it our job is completed successfully let's check the table folder refresh it and here you can see a table has been created so this table is created as a managed table why because the table definition and the data both are managed by the spark runtime for fabric lake house and in case of external table the meta store will be managed by the spark runtime but the data will be stored at different location it can be inside the files folder or it can be you can say on azure data lake storage or s3 bucket or any outside location so suppose if i drop this uh, manage table the definition will be dropped as well as my data will be dropped so let me show you so to drop the save table i'll write sql drop table and table name and let's refresh it you can see a table is dropped and data is also dropped now we will create the external table copy this and paste it here so for the external table what you need to change it just write comma then path now 
what i'll do i'll create my table inside this so we will have a definition inside this tables folder and our data will be inside this files folder so files slash acct let's run it our job is completed successfully now let's check our table folder and file folder table is created here and let's check file folder you can see a folder is also created for uh, the data of this account table and inside this we will have parquet files so by default for the delta table uh, underlying files are parquet files now if i drop this table the table definition will be dropped but we will have the metadata so let's drop it so the table is dropped so the uh, table definition has been dropped let me refresh it and still we have the underlying data okay so let me refresh it you can see the data has not been dropped so that is the use of manage and external table now i'll show you how you can access this data even if the table is dropped so there are two ways to access it one we will simply use the pyspark code and we will store it in a data frame so for that write spark dot read dot format which will be delta then load and provide the path so path is files underscore acct and store it in df data frame and then we will display it let's run it we got the output so this is how you can uh, read the underlying data of a external table and now suppose i have dropped the table by mistake but i want to reattach it so how you can do it we will create the table using a delta table api so for that we need to import delta dot tables from uh, sorry import all function and also we need to import types from pyspark dot sql run it and now we will use the delta table api to create the table for this data so create if not exist then here we need to provide the spark session variable then table name and table name i'll provide acct then we will add column so inside this we have two columns so we will add two columns first is account id which is a string type and another one is district id which is also string type and now we need to provide the location which is files slash acct and now we need to execute it let's run it our delta table is created let me 
refresh it you can see the table is created successfully now we will select the data from this table and we will see whether this table has been attached to this location and we have not loaded any data into this table so if this table is not attached to this location we will not have any record and if it is attached to this location then we will get some data start from okay so we got the data so this is the benefit of creating an external table okay whether you have dropped the external table you can recreate it and attach to the location and you will get the data that's it in this video in the next video we will learn how we can create a delta table using spark sql thank you for watching this video